Good afternoon, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here, and I am here today with a couple things, a few Savage Slabs, a uh, Savage AOK, -okay, I believe, from Scott over at Hoarders Hide, and a uh, LCS pickup. We'll get to the pickup first, and uh, this book is here for a reason. We will get into that a little later in the episode, but first, featuring Marvel Comics art, Dynamite released, Red Sonya Pint Glasses. Red Sonia number one, Red Sonia number four. All right, with the great, great, fantastic old Marvel magic art there. So we got our side. And uh, these are not going to be drank out of. These are going to stay just like they are in this beauty of a package. But had to pick those up, could not leave them behind. And we're going to get into the AOK -okay from Order's Hide. And um, see what he sent. And then we're going to get into a couple of Savage Slabs. Uh, first of all, Scott, thank you very much. I appreciate the thoughts. He's got it well taped up. So if you guys haven't checked out Order's Hide, please run over to his channel, sub him up. Super nice guy. Uh, second AOK -okay I've received from him. He's uh, sent me an uh, incredible two-pack Conan and Raw figure set, which was just amazing. You can see that video on my Conan-related playlist. Just, uh, it was a fantastic AOK. -okay. Really, really made my week that week. So, uh, thank you, Scott. Again, guys, check out Hoarders High. Great guy. And um, I'll put his link in the description below. So those of you who haven't checked out Scott can go give him a look and please sub him up. And if you're watching this and you're enjoying my content, sub me up. I'll take it. All right. So we definitely got some books here and uh, he's got them all well protected and oh, a hefty little stack. Sorry for the tape sound. And let's get into it. All right. Oh, nice. Conan the Adventure number three. And this is great. Look at this. Um, I've been here. It's um, a foreign. I love, love foreign comics. And especially Conan foreign comics. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know what variant it is. Uh, language. We'll have to figure that out. Oh, some Dark Horse. Very nice. So I believe, oh, I don't want to look like a fool. I want to say Mexican variant. Really sweet. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, Conan the Adventurer, number 13. Look at that, guys. How amazing. And we'll crack one of these open. You guys can see inside, too, because it's not just the cover that's fun. It's the whole book. All right, Conan, uh, Busaic and Ruth, uh, foo foo We'll take a look in there. We got uh, Mythos Edition. Beauty, 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 beauty of a cover. It's been a long week. I'm having trouble speaking, and this is awesome. All right. Another Conan. Just uh, absolutely beautiful covers. Uh, definitely PC books. These, are, these will go nowhere. I'm trying to look at the UPCs here. Very nice. All right. And Conan. I want to say these are Mexican variants, so Mexican language variants. Like I said, though, we're going to crack one of these open and take a look inside. And then Conan number 48, another great cover for Giorella. All right, so let's take a look real quick inside. Let's crack open this first one that we grabbed. Nice thick book. And so you got the back. And we'll look inside. Super, super cool. And whenever I can add a foreign language variant of Conan to the collection, I absolutely love it. 
All right, Raphael Kian in art. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, perfect. Scott, thank you so much, man. These are absolutely awesome. These are going to go right next to their English counterparts and just be there for fun and display. And, uh, oh, let's crack one more. Who could resist? All right, so you got the back cover with some Hellboy. And then, look at that gorgeous art in there. So really fun, really cool books. Love, I don't care that they're in another language. It actually adds to it for me. And uh, super happy to add these in the PC next to their English counterparts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Scott, thank you very much. I absolutely love them, man. These are gorgeous. And then we're going to get to the two slabs. So I sent two books out and I... I'm gonna put them in new. Uh, I'm gonna put them in new ones. So this is you're gonna see why I'm to this one, Conan the Barbarian in a 9.4 CBCS, and I also have it in a 9.6 CGC. But the CBCS doesn't have the Newton rings, and uh, they're both gorgeous. You can't tell one's a 9.6 and one's a 9.4. So have it in CGC and CBCS. Beautiful cover, super happy to have it in both grades and in both companies. And man, I really love how the C CBCS slabs are. They feel sturdy, they feel strong, they display beautifully, and uh, people snub them because they don't have the white square. I don't know why. These, these slabs are fantastic. And um, I will scan the QR code on the back and get the graders notes, which is an even better feature. So, beauty of a book. And then, I'm super excited for this one. This is a signature series. And uh, this is going to be my first signature by this person, one of my all-time favorite creators. And this is in a 9-8. This is Conan the Adventurer, issue 1 from 1994, newsstand edition. Cover art by Raphael Kayanen and story by Roy Thomas. Conan the Adventure with an embossed cover and a 9-8 with Roy's signature right up there. So Roy with the beautiful um, signature placement and just a cool action cover on a new Conan number one that came out in 1994. Uh, this was a 14 issue series and um, just a lot of fun written by Roy Thomas. So... When I saw this available, I bought this book actually off eBay and sent it in raw to get it graded. And, you know, there was no telling it would be a 9.8. It was, it's an embossed cover, so you're taking a chance. It didn't matter to me. I knew it was a 9.0 or better, but it did have Roy Thomas' signature, and I got this for a great price. Again, not the most expensive Conan book, and uh, neither is uh, the Arnie variant, but I don't slab um for flipping i slab for my pc and i don't care if a book's cover price if it's art i want to preserve or mean something to me and i like my barbaric number ones especially if it's a conian number one i don't care what it's from there's a good chance it'll get sent out by me but that's it for today guys let me know what you think of the awesome aok -okay from scott over at hoarders high the red sony glasses and of course these two CBCS beauties. All right, two more added to the collection. And it looks like I got about five more books on the way back soon. So that'll be a big Red Sonya reveal. But we'll see those when they come back. Until next time, keep it casual.